Okay, today is day 31. 31 days into the quarantine. It's also April 15th, normally tax day, but the president postponed it till the um, July 15th. So hopefully you didn't pay your taxes already. Take a little extra time paying those taxes if you have to pay them. Um, the area code today for 415 is San Francisco. We're back down to, from Massachusetts down to California again. Um, yesterday, I missed Killian's birthday. So happy birthday, Killian. I hope you do some Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Teenage Ninja Turtle. Um, so happy birthday. Good work. Um, lunch today, you guessed it, split pea soup again. I have a huge tub of it left over. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of done with that, but I have a bunch left over, so I'm kind of screwed on that. So, great news. Look at this. I'm going to, Aiden, get in there. Look at this. This is my. That's three hives, honey. Sean sent me that. Look at that. It's literally liquid gold. Look how gold that is. So I'm gonna put that on some cornbread because my wife likes me enough to give me cornbread. And I'm kind of a firm believer that you may not have ever have enough honey. So look at there. I'll set that back on there. Sinks into there. When we got that yesterday, it had a little thing of air in it. There was a bubble that was just, um, it was so cool looking. We should have saved it to video. All right, here's some cornbread. That's good. I think you would, I think you could actually eat that, that stuff straight. Sean, that's incredible. Tell your bees thank you and Thank you for all your hard work putting it into a jar and taking care of the bees. And Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Mm. That's awesome. Um, yesterday, I thought it'd be a good idea to show Aiden how to drive. <laughs> Tank quiet. Turns out it wasn't a good idea. Um, Aiden did great. We drove, he drove the car up to one of his friend's house, but behind us was the FedEx guy, or not the FedEx, I should say the UPS guy, not UPS guy, he's our UPS guy too. We drove not very far away from him, but he did a good job making the corners and using his blinkers and doing all that stuff. So he was doing really good. And then we um, got to, his friend's house, and when we got to his friend's house, he had to take a 90 degree turn in, so he slowed down and stopped, but there's kind of a ditch on both sides of his, my, of his friend's house. We turned, he didn't quite turn, and the UPS guy was behind us, so the UPS guy pulled over because he had to drop off a package to the, his friends. So I said, stop, just stop. So he stopped, and then he let his foot off the brake, and he drove the car into the ditch. Did it again, into the ditch, so. No damage to the car, thank goodness. I was able to pull it out of there. And what did you think happened when you let go of the brakes? I don't know. Yeah, you were too he, heavy, it just fell over. Yeah, he didn't think that you had to hold on to the, you know, you, you hit the brakes on a race car game on the Nintendo or on the Atari 2600, and you hit the brakes on it and just stops, and you have to hit the gas to go. That's not in real life. In real life, you put a car in drive, it wants to drive. Anyway, so we did a driving test. I would probably give him a B plus until we crashed and that dropped him to probably a B minus. I probably should have dropped him into the C range, but it was his first time ever driving. So he did a good job. He knows now you have to hold your foot on the brake to stay stopped. As soon as you let your foot off the brake, you yeah, move. So anyway, stupid dad joke of the day. Okay, what's in your, I guarantee you won't know this. What state is known for their small soft drinks? Alabama. Minnesota. 
mini soda. Minnesota. That's a good one. Told you you didn't know it. Um, what's your annoying thing? Probably when Tank breaks my Easter eggs before I get to find them. He, yeah, he does. He has a, a, a problem for sure. Um, my annoying thing, I don't know, pan outside the window. It's showing it again. Snow again. That's annoying to me. It's very, very annoying. Um, what am I grateful for? And what are you grateful for? Uh, the snow, so I don't get to go and run. You're grateful for the snow. And it's my annoying thing. How perfect is that? Um, I'm grateful, of course, for Three Hives Honey and Sean. And, I mean, that's pretty damn cool. Sean, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make up a slingshot and I'll send it your way. I got your address on the box, so I'll get you a slingshot made. Um, so another thank you to Sean. And for Gary and Little Treasures Daycare, I'm going to give you a magic trick. So you guys have a great day and I'm watch me, I'm going to disappear. Are you ready? Get set. Go. Are you okay?